honest to vlog. So I went to Le Chateau, which is a drugstore, to get this because I'm a terrible person. Now the interesting thing was, the guy who was serving me, or at least standing behind the register, wasn't really doing much of anything. I came in, he was already eating lunch or dinner or whatever. I just go up to him, I put the bag of hell sticks on the counter and wait expectantly, and he just doesn't really move, and he says, well, that's a dollar. So I just took four quarters out of my pocket, sat in the corner, took my thing, and left. And frankly, I kind of liked that, because it reminded me of the days of bartering during which I was not alive. There was none of that weird metaphysical contract involved with using a register. Type in numbers, and pop out the chain, and give you a chain, and give you a receipt, and here's a receipt. A proof of transaction. What, you gonna keep a record of the bag of hot Cheetos I bought for a dollar? Do you expect me to? I think I just spit there, sorry. All I'm saying is it was nice. Oh, and by the way, I'm Wei, Wednesday of Honest to Vlog. Nice to meet you. Just between you and me, I really want to give you guys the title Onions, but you know, can't really do that. Can't just throw out titles like that. Now something I've discussed with both Peter and Sarah is the gender divide on YouTube. There's a lot more female vloggers than there are male vloggers on YouTube, but the thing is that in the top 100 or so, there's a lot fewer female vloggers. I don't even know if these people are in the top 100, but if you could name a few, maybe Mika Kitty, Hot For Words, uh, Lisa Nova, uh, Case in point. Another really big discrepancy is the fact that there aren't that many great female vloggers. Of course, though, you might ask, how can you distinguish what a great female vlogger is, right? Well, as Sarah's talking about, it's having your content become distinguished from these. And frankly, not too many female vloggers can get away from that. Mika Kitty, Hot For Words, Lisa Nova... So you have to ask the question, why aren't there that many great female vloggers on YouTube yet? There's a number of reasons for this, such as one, sexism. Let's face it, being a female vlogger with a large following in any case will inevitably get you some weird comments. And it doesn't really matter whether they're derogatory or just plain creepy, it's a big deterrent. So that might be an explanation for why there's not so many female vloggers who just go straight to the top, but that brings the question, why aren't more female vloggers creating great content? Granted, the rule is that 90% of everything is crap, and that goes the same way for men. But in terms of the creative process, the issue is that a lot of people don't even think about it as a creative effort. For a lot of people, vlogging is just a thing. And as a result, when arbitrary expectations are tacked onto this arbitrary thing, this has some weird results. Like leading female vloggers to believe that they have to be cute, or sexy, or hot. Granted, the big girls who are already out there have kind of established this trend. I guess it's not so bad for them because, hey, they're already established. The main people it affects are female vloggers who are just starting. So it becomes a cyclical thing, and the best thing that you can do to break it is just to, well, break it. And that was the best advice ever given ever. Your turn, Erica. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, this is kind of weird. The vibe is different.